Here are Paul. Paul, obviously, head of a crunch game in the group. It's all to play for. We need a result to qualify. How are you feeling about tomorrow night's game? I'm feeling optimistic. It's a, it's a game where we need, need to win. Um, I think a loss is obviously going to throw us out of, out of the group, but um, I think Vera needs to make some uh, serious changes now up for us tomorrow night and give us a chance to really have a go at the, at the game tomorrow night and get three points. I certainly believe that. You know, the 15, 20 minutes of the, of the last game proved that we that we have it in the in the bank or the, well, the tank to do that. Um, I was a bit sort of or annoyed in a sense that, you know, the first half we were very, very cautious, but I think if she takes the, the shackles off the team, gives us a chance to have a go with them, I think we're certainly worth uh, the opportunity for, with three points anyway at least. We certainly looked very dangerous when young Abby Larkin came off the bench. She seemed to be a catalyst for creating a few chances. Do you think she could be the key to unlocking the Canadian fence? She's certainly one of a few players who uh, have, the, have the opportunity or have it in the, in the tank to be able to do that. It'll be herself and Amber, Lucy Quinn as well. I think, it, I think if uh, Vera makes the changes and brings on or uses any one of those three or maybe even all three, um, but she may not do that in fairness now, but uh, I think if she uh, lets the, sh the, or the shackles off the team and really have a go, well then we're certainly worth the opportunity for with three points. Would you like to see Katie McKay potentially moved a little bit further up the pitch? I certainly would, and again, you know, having judged from the, the the last game, whereby you know there was no real danger down that right hand side of the pitch, and I think the 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 back four, back three, back four, are strong enough to be able to hold themselves. That I think it's a game where we need to push Katie forward just a little bit more, and again give us the opportunity to get uh, opportunity for more shots on target and the opportunity there for say goals then as well. So would you be optimistic uh, on our chance of getting out of the group? I'd be optimistic and hopeful, yes. Um, but again, it's really on the basis that if Vera lets the shackles off and gives us the the, the or the opportunities, I think if we if we are deploy the same sort of tactics as the as the first game, it's going to be a little bit restrictive, I think. But you know, I'm sort of hoping that Vera understands and realises, which I'm, I'm sure she does, that um, we, it's a game where we really need to push forward and give ourselves the opportunity for goals. With shots on target and then obviously goals then. As you mentioned there, obviously massive game for us. We're going to need all the support we can get behind us in the stadium. What does it mean to be out here in Perth supporting the girls in green? I mean, I suppose I've only followed the girls in green probably for the last sort of maybe four years. I've kept an eye on them in previous years without any great or huge interest. But certainly I think in women's football has, has picked up greatly in the last few years and it's, it's great to see. Um, I think they can... I think they can we'll push on, move on, but um, in terms of the atmosphere that we've seen in the first game, the atmosphere that we've seen around here in the last sort of few days, I think it's brilliant to see. It's great to be Irish, it's great to watch the, uh, the women's team uh, increase and progress over time, and I'm fairly optimistic that we can get a, a result now on, on Wednesday evening. And finally, if you were to get into that dressing room before the match and give the girls some words to G them up, what would you say to them? Uh, oh jeez, I tell you, I probably wouldn't be using the language now on, uh, on with social media, but I think everybody needs to get themselves roiled up to, you know, out of 10, just kind of, say, push it on 11 and 12. It's a game where we, we, we have to win. It's a game where, you know, get a draw or lose, and we're really out of it. It's, it's not going to be good for us. So, you know, a massive amount of effort. The game is over 90 minutes. Games are, are easily won on the last minute of game. So, it's about putting in a massive effort. We need the, well, the crowd right behind the team, which I'm sure they will. There's plenty of ex, expats here as well, and plenty of fans who have travelled with the globe to come and see the game. So I think if you put all the effort together in the, in the, in the, in the same bag, I think there's a, a decent opportunity there for the, uh, well, a win. A sneaky little one there. Listen, yeah. Paul, thanks very much Go for on. your time. Appreciate Thank it. You.